outside investigation, we first told you about thousands of so-called rape kits untested for decades. Five on your side, Chief Investigator Ron Regan reports about dramatic changes since he first broke the story. We spoke with rape victims, police departments, and went inside the state's crime lab. Since our Five on Your Side investigation first aired last February, serial rapists are now behind bars. We thought they had value, but didn't know how much. I've been stunned. Ohio Attorney General Mike DeWine's describing a surge in the number of rape kits like this now being tested. Last February, the Five on Your Side investigators were the first media outlet to track a huge backlog. Our investigation found 2,000 across Ohio sat on police department shelves for years. Only 479 had been tested. Since then, nearly all of them have now been tested. It's a result of the Ohio Attorney General's sexual assault initiative. We're running one out of every three that we test, we're getting a hit on. Rape kits contain DNA evidence. It's obtained from victims in the hours after an assault, and it can instantly identify suspects whose DNA is already on file. Our Five on Your Side investigation obtained a computer database of rape kits across Ohio and gained rare access to Ohio's crime lab. Since our report first aired, DNA testing has now identified nearly 700 suspected rapists, 426 right here in Cleveland. So we're going back to police departments and saying, hey, that case 17 years ago that you didn't know who it was, we know who it was. We know who your rapist is. Within one month of our report, the first two criminal indictments were filed. 60-year-old Charles Steele and 42-year-old Anthony Moore, both charged with separate 1993 rapes. And testing has identified serial rapists, like 48-year-old Delbert Buckwald, sentenced to 30 years in prison. DNA evidence linked him to three separate rapes. Rick Bell heads up Cuyahoga County's cold case unit. It's been significant in my 25 years in the office. I've never seen this much energy by the county prosecutor put into solving cold cases. As a result, 55 suspected rapists have been indicted so far this year, including serial rapist Elias Acevedo, who confessed to one of Cleveland's most sensational unsolved cases. 18-year-old Christina Adkins disappeared nearly 20 years ago. Elias Acevedo confessed to her murder after his DNA matched a separate 1993 rape case. As we know, Acevedo uh, is a killer, and so a lot of our serial rapists, I think we're going to find out, are also serial killers. And since the Five on Your Side investigators first began following untested rape kits, the total number turned over for testing has doubled. It's now hit 4,500, and half of those are from Cleveland alone. And we're told even more suspected rapists will be tracked down in the months ahead. On Your Side, I'm Chief Investigator Ron Regan.